Yes, and today we will discuss about autumn or fall um, as some other uh, some other places used not only autumn but also fall but yeah uh, anyhow we, we we are here to talk about the season uh, the autumn season basically um, you know like you know basically learn about autumn because we just um, surpass summer right and um, how was your summer guys well my summer um, as of I'm recording this I'm still in the middle of summer but um, until now it's still going well I would say um, there are you know some weird bugs that uh, you know investing in my plants I had to do lots of um, pesticides and you know like basically just to prevent my crops for from dying um, because you know like although this is like in Asia but you know it's still the same it's still summer or dry basically dry season where you know uh, it's hot uh, it's hot during day um, it's cold during night and you know by hot i mean it's like super warm i would say um not that bad honestly so yeah there's that as for i am how i'm doing right now honestly i'm doing very greatly i recorded lots of videos i made lots of ideas and stuff like that so yeah that's why you you probably have seen you know lots of contents from me uh with the new series as well um when this video is released already right you probably already know that you know i made lots of other series as well on top of this one year 365 the um you know the playthrough series and then there is also uh, other series as well like the scp and then the marvel talks as well but yeah, uh, lots of stuff. That's why I've been very productive, I would say, this summer. Um, and yeah, that's about it. What about you guys? Uh, let me know how your summer was going. Um, anyway, um, you know, after summer, there comes fall, right? Or autumn. Um, although here, after dry season, is still dry season. Until later on, will be rainy season, I would say. Uh, which uh, probably I will also discuss in the future as well but yeah um, anyway autumn over here autumn also known as fall in North American English is one of the four temperate seasons outside the tropics autumn marks the transition from summer to winter uh, yeah in tropical uh, you know countries we just have dry and rain dry season rainy season and that's about it um, you know or dry season and wet season, I would say, uh, whatever, right? But yeah, um, in September or March, uh, okay, September, which is this month, right? Uh, autumn is the season when the duration of the daylight becomes noticeably shorter and the temperature cools considerably. Day length decreases and night length increases as the season progresses until the winter solstice in December, uh, fun fact, my birthday is in winter solstice, uh, in December, honestly, and June. Uh, one of its main features is temperate climates is the striking change in color for the leaves of deciduous trees as they prepare to shed. Um, as you see over here, the deciduous trees I have visited just earlier before I recorded this video. Um, the reason why is because the name deciduous trees is actually not that um, you know not that uncommon for me. I'm actually familiar with the you know the name deciduous. It's from my Don't Starve Pocket Edition Reign of Giants playthrough. I think um, there's lots of deciduous trees, right? Uh, in fact, I actually lived in deciduous trees there in the playthrough. So yeah, that's why it sounds familiar. And, you know, I was wondering what it means, what what does that mean, uh, what type of trees does it do, and then, you know, I go here, basically, I went here uh, to check that out. But, yeah, um, the day length decreases and night length increases. Um, I don't know if this will uh, be the 
you know uh, for the farming and it will be like a uh, daylight saving i think daylight saving or daytime saving i don't know which one of which i think daylight saving uh where i think we you know we will all have our clock uh reduced by one hour i think um you know to adjust our clock in uh you know other world and then in america i think anyway but i don't know if it's only america or the us but probably in europe as well right uh but anyway um i think that will come as well the daylight saving um but yeah deciduously deciduous trees uh prepare to set right so the leaf will uh fall basically um that's the name fall right leaves falling then it's seasons of fall fall season uh temperate season leaves often turn orange and fall off from trees in the autumn um this this is bad right um i know uh you know uh if you own a house if you own uh you know very wide uh or very wide uh land and there are lots of trees um i i can know how painful it is to be in fall season because you know just like this you will have to clean leaves every now and then right like it will just keep coming right um i don't know if you can actually you know like just basically shake the branches and all the leaves will fall right uh so that you know you can force them leaves to fall and then you can then um clean them afterwards and then in the future you don't have to clean as often right because you already force the leaves to uh, fall in the first place anyway i don't know if that's like uh you know life hack in those places here anyway um well trees you know will have dried leaves uh every now and then anyway uh during uh dry season so yeah it's not really a big problem because um it, it's always like that it will you know naturally fall uh every now and then even in the start of dry season there's already a sign of you know some uh leaves turning brown and then just fall right um and therefore you know like basically um yeah there's like uh it's been a thing uh, although it's not as severe as uh you know we see over here where it is um you know just that much of leaf right um it's also you know i think if you own dogs i think um dogs also love leaf piles for whatever reason like they think it's fun i don't know uh, like just jump into the mound of uh, dried leaves like in the videos uh, you probably already know right uh, already watch some of those like dogs being playful uh, during fall just to um, you know play with the dried leaves right or to mess with your um you know dried leaves that you have already gathered right like you gather all of this into a mound of pile or pile of leaves and then your dog just jump into it and you know make it messy again but yeah there's that northern temperate zone astronomical season 22nd or 23rd of september uh which is today that's why today will be um you know the fall or the autumn welcome to autumn season basically uh the title of this video because it's already 23rd of september right until 22nd of december um yeah meteorological season 1 september to 13 november okay solar uh celtic season 1 august to 31 of october right uh southern temperate zone astronomical 21st march to 21st june meteor meteorological one first march 31st may solar season 1 february 30 april summer spring autumn uh, winter it's autumn right and yeah um the examples and perspective in this article deal primarily with the u.s and do not represent a worldwide view of the subject okay so this is like the view in the u.s right which is beautiful if you ask me 
you know, I've never been to US myself personally. Uh, I cannot imagine, uh, you know, from Google Map anyway, uh, the US is just a very big uh, a country, right? In itself, like, yeah, I can only imagine this kind of view during autumn or fall. Uh, but never been there myself. But, you know, like, uh, all this water um, in the public probably contains a lot of microbes, microorganisms, and stuff like that, right? Which is bad, but, you know, it looks good, but it's bad, right? Um, you know, good for your eye, but bad for your health. If you uh, probably drink from it, there's just a lot of uh, uh, bacteria, right? Just the same as here in my country anyway. Uh, but, but yeah, I think it's just the same every everywhere really. Like, you know, uh, if there's like a public pond or lake, you don't want to drink from all this uh, water, right? Um, you know, uh, well, especially if it's in uh, you know, public that has um high amount of people in it as well, right? But if it's in the nature, it's probably safe. But I'm not gonna risk that anyway because you know. Um, like maybe, um, you know, just like this one over here, uh, it's also filled with dried leaf, right? On top of the surface and the dried leaves probably carry lots of bacteria as well, you know, because, uh, it's basically a rotting leaf, right? And then, you know, it, probably there's some bugs in it as well that cause bacteria. So yeah, there's that. The variety of colors between the trees and the first floor is like a giant mural in autumn. Particularly out of cityscapes, yeah, I know, right? Um, it's a pretty scene of view. Date definitions. While scientists, geo geographers, and astronomers regard the autumnal equinox as mid-autumn, some local cultures in high latitudes with a long temperature lag treat the equinox as the start of autumn. Don't know what that means. In the English-speaking world of high-latitude countries, autumn traditionally began with Lammas Day and ended around Halloween. Uh, Halloween, apparently. A lot of Halloween. Uh, the approximate midpoints between Midsummer... Uh, oh, that's the movie, right? Midsummer, I mean. The autumnal equinox and midwinter. Meteorologists and Australia and most of the temperate countries in the Southern Hemisphere use a definition based on Gregorian calendars months with uh, autumn being September, October, and November in the Northern Hemisphere, and March, April, May in Southern Hemisphere, alright? In the higher latitude countries in Northern Hemisphere, autumn traditionally starts with the September equinox, 21st to 24th September, which is recently when this video is released, right? And ends with the winter solstice, 21 or 22 December, yeah, that's my birthday over there. Uh, which we'll talk um, later on uh, in three months, hopefully from now. Um, but yeah, popular culture in the United States associates Labor Day, the first Monday in September, as the end of summer and the start of autumn. Okay, Labor Day. I guess it's when people starts uh, going back to work. I would say, or is it Labor Day means um, you know a free day for all kind all sorts of labor. So they took a day off, but I don't think so. I think it's the first one. Uh, certain summer traditions such as wearing white are discouraged after that date. As daytime and nighttime temperature decreases, trees change color and then set their leaves. Um, because, you know, uh, the temperature decreases, right? It means there's no, uh, you know, um, in a way, there's no more sunlight, right? Probably because they feel like uh, you know, their leaves are very cold, then, you know, uh, it means there's no light, uh, therefore, let's just save our energy, then, uh, you know, making leaf, what about we uh, just reduce our uh, leaves amount, and then we went to hibernation, basically, right, um, and that's probably it, I think, in the perspective of the plant's brain, I would say, because, uh, you know, like I said, um, it's getting cold, um, you know, means no sunlight. No sunlight means no food. Uh, no food means we need to save food, you know, uh, save as much energy as possible, which means uh, reducing the amount of leaves and yada yada uh, went into hibernation until spring comes. That is if spring uh, actually comes, you know, um, like this, I believe in, 
Ice Age, I would say. The trees don't, uh, you know, basically the trees will stay in hibernation, right? Which is scary if you think about it. Uh, trees in hibernation means there's no food, right? There's no food source. Um, the animals cannot eat food. Uh, the human cannot eat animals or cannot eat food because, you know, the amount of food decreases, right? Which is scary if you think about it during Ice Age. Um, you know, one day the trees just decided to go, uh, oh, there is no sunlight, then I will go hibernation, bye-bye, and then, you know, uh, they never wake up, basically, they never woke up until a long time, right? Uh, which is scary if you ask me. Anyway, under the traditional East Asian solar term system, autumn starts on around uh, 8 August and ends on or about 7 November. Okay, so it's earlier, right? Uh, because... Uh, probably is Asian, it's like Korean, right? Uh, or Jap Japan, right? Um, it's because, um, it probably, they, probably because they are closer to the tropic, uh, climate as well. Um, that's why it, it starts earlier, but I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, that's just my, uh, thought about it. Anyway, I might be wrong. I might, you know, most probably wrong, but, um, yeah, whatever. Uh, in Ireland, uh, the autumn months, according to the National Meteorological Service, okay, Met Iran are September. Um, oh, that's the Meteorological Service, uh, Met Iran. And then are se September, October, and November. However, according to the Irish calendar, which is based on ancient Gaelic traditions, oh, this is Jack Septica, I think, right? He's Irish, you know, he knows Gaelic traditions, obviously, right? Uh, whenever I heard Iris and Gaelic, I just um, remember Czech Septicai or Sean, basically. Autumn lasts, lasts throughout the month of August, September, and October, or possibly a few days later, depending on tradition. In the Irish, Irish language, September is known as Mean Form Hair, Middle of Autumn, and October as Dirid or Dirid Form, form Hair, End of Autumn, okay? Uh, ask Chipsetikai about this, right? I don't know anything about this. He probably knows a lot, right? Persians celebrate the beginning of the autumn as American to honor Mitra. Okay, uh, that's Persians, right? Etymology, et etymology. Uh, autumnal scene with yellow, orange, and red leaves on trees and fallen on the ground. Uh, also, by the way, in Japan, uh, this is actually can be a very beautiful scene. If you went to Japan during this time, I think you will see lots of very colorful uh, trees, I would say, uh, which is great. Uh, I don't know if the sakura tree um, becomes something in autumn or, you know, uh, I think the sakura tree becomes pink during spring and then it turns uh, brown or fall during uh, autumn, but I don't know. Again, I don't know. Uh, any of this but this is what I think of anyway so yeah let me know guys if I uh, you know said some mistakes so you know just so that we can um, share the knowledge right the word autumn is derived from latin autumnus archaic aut aut autumnus possibly from the ancient etruscan root auto and has within it connotations of the passing of the year okay uh, autumn basically Alternative etymologies include Proto-Indo-European uh, H3 Euk, cold, or H2 South. Oh, okay, so it's Oak or cold, or South, or dry. After the Greek era, the word continued to be used as the Old French word Autumne, uh, Autumne in modern France, or Autumne in Middle English. And was later normalized to the original late Latin. In the medieval period, there are rare examples of its use as early as the 12th century, but by the 16th century, it was in common use. Okay, so everything revolved around uh, the Latin, right? The Latin uh, word, uh, autumnus, basically, um, which means uh, the Etruscan root, right? Uh, which means what again uh the passing of the year uh, i don't know um 
But anyway, uh, before 16, harvest was the term usually used to refer to the season. Okay, so harvest moon, right? Uh, there's like harvest season and then winter and then spring and summer, probably it. Uh, probably spring is was not spring as well. Uh, who knows, right? Uh, maybe we'll get to that later on. Um, anyway, um, uh, harvest was the term to usually used to refer to the season, as it is common in other West Germanic languages to this day. CF Dutch Herbst, German Herbs and Scots Herbst. However, as more people gradually move from working the land to living in towns, the word harvest lost its reference to the time of year and came to refer only to the actual activity of reaping and autumn, as well as fall, began to replace it as a reference to the season. Uh, better source needed. Okay, so yeah, we got the point anyway. The alternative word fall for the season traces its origins to all Germanic languages. The exact derivation is unclear with the Old English fjall or Philan and the Old Norse fall all being possible candidates. However, these words all have the meaning to fall from a height and are clearly derived either from a common root or from each other. The term came to denote the season in 16th century England, a contraction of Middle English expressions like fall of the leaf and fall of the year. Compare the origin of spring from spring of the leaf and spring of the year. Alright, so it's the same thing. Uh, except this is fall and that's spring, right? During the 17th century, Englishmen began immigrating to the new North American colonies and the settlers took the English language with them. While the term fall gradually became nearly obsolete in Britain, it became the more common term in North America. Alright. The name Bacon, a once common name for the season in Northern England, has today been largely replaced by the name Autumn. Okay, so it, it was called Bacon as well, but now it says Autumn or Fall. Uh, association, Harvest. Association with the transition from warm to cold weather and its related status as the season of the primary harvest has dominated its themes and popular images. In Western cultures, personifications of Autumn are usually pretty, well fat females adorned with fruits, vegetables, and grains that ripen at this time. Many cultures feature autumnal harvest festivals, um, often the most important on their calendars. Okay, so yeah, because it's harvest season or harvest season, so you know, harvest moon, therefore, um, you know, just to celebrate, right? Like all the farmers uh, just harvesting all their farm or crop. Then you know, uh, getting all the stuff. You know, it's it's probably very exciting day, right? Exciting moments. Therefore, they you know, let's celebrate, like to thank to God or you know, just to thank to the community as well, right? Probably, uh, but I can't imagine it to be like that. Still, extend echoes of the celebrations are found in the autumn Thanksgiving holiday of the United States and Canada. Uh, all right, so yeah, it actually makes sense now because, uh, yeah, again, because after harvesting, right, you got lots of crops, then it's just um, a good way to have Thanksgiving holiday, right? Therefore, you know, in every Thanksgiving, you see lots of food, right? Because it's it's just harvesting season, basically. Um, it's a while, uh, I mean, it's just, uh, they just passed uh, the harvesting, right? Therefore, they got lots of crops, therefore the Thanksgiving. And the Jewish Sukkot holiday with its roots as a full moon harvest festival of tabernacles. Living in outdoor huts around the time of harvest. Who actually sounds interesting. Um, uh, basically living outdoor, right? Like summer camp, but uh, this is autumn camp or fall camp, basically. Um, you know, just having a uh, roasted stuff, you know, just uh, in the fireplace, uh, fire camp and stuff like that. Uh, sounds interesting, honestly. Uh, there are also the many festivals celebrated by indigenous peoples of the Americas tied to the harvest of ripe foods gathered in the wild, the Chinese Mid-Autumn or Moon Festival. 
and many other okay so in china as well right um the predominant mood of this autumnal celebration is a gladness for the fruits of the earth mixed with a certain melancholy link to the imminent arrival of harsh weather okay so yeah um yeah it also makes sense because it's just harvest right and after that there will be winter right which is again harsh weather because um there's no crops in uh, winter basically unless you have those greenhouses right with um the led or not led the warm light i would say the heat light and then there's also the basically uh the one that the greenhouse which uh that equip with temperature change right and also the light change as well right that you can just adjust with uh modern technology so yeah this view is presented in english poet john keats poem to autumn uh, where he describes the season as a time of bounteous fecundity, a time of mellow fruitfulness. In North America, while most foods are harvested during the autumn, foods usually associated with the season include pumpkins, which are integral parts of both Thanksgiving and Halloween. Also, yeah, that also makes sense now, uh, why there's lots of pumpkins uh, during Halloween, because... Uh, it is the time of, um, you know, harvesting pumpkin, therefore, uh, that, um, you know, if during that time, watermelon, um, if watermelon becomes abundant during this, uh, harvest, uh, moon or harvesting time, then, uh, you know, maybe in other universe, right, where, uh, it's watermelon instead of, um, pumpkin, right, uh, but, uh, I don't know if it's, watermelon like you know watermelon is full of water right um it will probably rot quicker than pumpkin honestly so eh, i don't know maybe maybe in other universe the uh you know the look of watermelon is uh, similar to pumpkins probably right but yeah uh it's because pumpkins right therefore uh the uh pumpkin pie i think and then the um, Halloween uh, using that as a uh, jack-o'-lantern, right? And yeah, and apples, which are used to make the seasonal beverage, apples, apple cider, okay, yeah. Oh, apples for uh, alcohol, right? If you ferment that, I think. Uh, apple pie as well. Apple pie, pumpkin pie, um, actually, now I'm hungry. Um, you know, I can imagine the, t the, the, t the taste of the sweetness from the pumpkin and the apple. And then the crunchiness of the crust of the pie, and then you know the saltiness from the, uh, the bakery, right? Um, you know, uh, yeah, the bread, uh, pumpkin, and yeah, stuff like that. This actually sounds fun. What is next? What is it next? Uh, melancholia, Jason, Joseph, Chelmonsky picture. Okay, uh, autumn, Australian poetry. Okay, so this is the art, right? Uh, Halloween. Autumn is associated with Halloween, um, influenced by some main uh, Celtic autumn festival, Celtic, uh, okay, um, and with and with it a widespread marketing campaign that promotes it. The Celtic people also use this time to celebrate the harvest with a time of feasting. At the same time though, it was a celebration of death as well. Crops were harvested, livestock were butchered, and winter was coming okay so it's to prepare winter uh, basically right because winter there will be a scarcity of food therefore you know just um save all your resource right as well as killing or you know butchering all your livestock because the livestock will need food for plants which won't be existed during winter anyway right therefore might as well butcher the livestock right uh you know before they died from starvation anyway right or uh, you know you getting lots of money to get their food right uh, but yeah halloween 31st october is in autumn in the northern hemisphere television film book costume home decoration and confectionery business use this time of year to promote products closely associated with such a holiday with promotions going from late august or early september to 31st october since their themes rapidly lose strength once the holiday ends and advertising start concentrating on Christmas. Yeah, this is also um, like the meme as well, right? 
where you have a, a spooky skeleton uh, after 31st October and then after it starts November uh, you know it all starts being Christmas related stuff right uh, like you know the skeleton wearing uh, the the hat the Christmas hat and then there's the Christmas tree as well but you know all the skeletons are still there because yeah there's that uh, it becomes the meme right and yeah other association in some parts autumn has a strong association with the end of summer holiday uh, and the start of a new school year uh, which is weird here in my country a new school year starts uh, like august anyway so um, no it's july anyway uh, like in the middle of the year basically uh, whatever the season is uh, because it's only dry season and rainy season right no matter it's done in july or september or august uh, all of them is still uh, dry season anyway so yeah we just started uh, school during july uh, just to make it easy right in the middle of uh, the year anyway uh, but yeah uh, back to school advertising and preparation okay so uh, during this time there will be lots of back to school sale right uh, for the kids, for the children, uh, starting a new year, uh, a new school year, right? Um, yeah, uh, primary and secondary education, so elementary and middle school. But high school, I think, can also have some of this as well, right? Uh, also, university or college student as well, so that they don't just, um, you know, feel very sad, right? Uh, I mean, the the university and the college life uh, are already sad enough, uh, might as well do this to them as well right thanksgiving day uh national holidays are in canada u.s in some of caribbean island and liberia uh not in europe though right thanksgiving celebrated in second monday of october in canada and the fourth thursday of november uh okay so the u.s will be later right uh the fourth thursday it means uh in the fourth week on the fourth week of the month then uh yeah it's like very late November, right? And then, yeah, uh, similarly named festival holidays occur in Germany and Japan. Oh, actually, Japan has lots of culture as well, right? Maybe we'll talk a few episodes about Japan uh, culture because uh, Japanese culture is like, um, you know, uh, it's very exciting for me at least. There's just so much stuff in Japan, right? You can live in Japan for one whole year and you will see every, you know, every period of time there will be something, right? Uh, like something, uh, some events happening in Japan. And that's actually uh, great uh, just because, you know, lots of cultures on Japan. Um, like, I don't know, I kind of feel I want to live in Japan especially after PewDiePie and Marzia uh, moved to Japan, right? Like, um, you know, starting their life, new life, uh, not new life, starting their life newly in Japan, right? So, yeah, that's, like, um, interesting to see his vlogs anyway. Like, um, like you know, every time watching uh, his vlogs, like, there is always something happening in Japan, right? So, yeah, it's just exciting. I kind of want, you know uh not really live there but more like um stay there for a year or two or whatever right um and then come back here again in the country in my country but yeah um that's about it television okay american football summer football again christian religious yada yada and there's a lot of stuff as well tourism yeah i cannot imagine image of autumn uh okay this is the tree and then um the pumpkin pie right the one of the most uh common thing harvest straw bales as well yeah because uh straw uh, there's a lot lots of straws right May, uh, might as well turn them into straw bales right for storage and then pumpkins and yeah allegories of autumn in art this is the art don't really want to show that and that's about it see also autumn in new england diwali so Diwali is, I think, uh, even in India, if I remember correctly. 
and then yeah ultimate new england as well and then all these sorts of references but that's about it um yeah i think that's about it about fall have a nice fall everyone um hopefully the the next three months will be something for you guys and yeah anyway i think that will be it for today's episode of autumn or fall welcome to the autumn season i hope you guys enjoy it uh, stay safe stay healthy eat healthy drink healthy have a nice autumn or fall season and see ya